Water. I need water. I need it. I need it. Oh, God. It's special, dry out here. Spatial personas, it's, huh? Huh? Oh, Can we just, talk about spatial personas for an hour? Yeah, maybe if you want to, but it's feeling like we have to do that. <laughs> the Geniuses, Apple News is can we have a serious sound effect? Can you like the sound effect? Yeah. Geniuses, I gather you here today with no news, with no excitement, with with no water. Our, we, we need. We needed water desperately on this day of days, the day of recording Genius Bar, and the drought continues. This is the third or fourth Genius Bar with no iPads, no news. No news. We've been product. let down by the system. We've been let down by the man. We've been let down by Mark Gurman. We've been let down by <laughs> Tim Cook. Capitalism continues to fail me on a daily basis. I was told I worked to support the the corporation and their corporation isn't even putting stuff out anymore. I can't I don't know believe what I'm this. supposed to do instead. <laughs> it's at, at, terrible. Uh, by the same time, we need we need money to buy Apple products. That is yes. our existence. Yes. And right now we have no Apple products, and because no Apple products, we are struggling to make money to buy the Apple products. It is DefCon ten over here. I think actually lower DefCon is more serious. Which it is DefCon tells me. one. DEFCON yeah, Zero. Def Round Zero here at Genius Bar. But guys, this is don't our worry. own personal 9-11. It is bad here at Genius oh, Bar headquarters. For that. But hey, don't we got a great for show for you guys anyway. We're out here. We've got we stuff like We have so many plans. We don't personas. I can't I can't even begin to tell you all our plans for the episode today. Yeah. We've got it's packed. We have so we have an experience planned for you today. Uh we and definitely came in here with a plan. Yeah, and experience is what you're gonna get. Okay, let's let's just jump into what we have. We're dealing with scraps here, but there are a few interesting things that have caught my little purview, you could say, in the past week. The first of these is spatial personas, which, which we just tested with Andrew yeah. Edwards, and yeah, what yeah. is kind of we were doing something similar to this, planning a thing. Yeah, yeah. going over I, some, going over a little bit of a keynote presentation. I don't want to be too, you know, I've had the problem of, with Vision Pro maybe speaking a little bit too much about my excitement, but this feels like a Vision OS 2 type upgrade where now you can just see people in the room with you. And this is literally what I remember talking about with you guys where I was like, I wish you could be on my couch. I wish you could be here. And they it, got rid of our shackles. I will say it took FaceTime on Vision Pro from being, okay, it's better I think like because 3D um, to mm -hmm. it's I mean, it's pretty. This is what I was trying to say. Like right now, everything is inside of Windows because that's how the digital world exists. But Vision Pro will let every, all those windows go away. It's it has started with spatial personas and we're everything's going to be like this. Websites, everything. It's cool. It's very, very cool. Um and yeah, you can just kind of see people next to stuff presenting. You can watch. Who are these people? Why do they look familiar? I think they're probably Apple employees. Okay. Because Apple, Apple's just weird. They released this video to media outlets, but didn't release it themselves. Mm. So mm. you had to kind of hunt for it. I don't know. They, it seems like they want to be a little quiet about it, but also loud because they're announcing it, but calling it it's, a beta. It's also interesting because this didn't come out with a new version of Vision OS. Like No, they just turned it on. Yeah, this is just when you're in FaceTime, you can just go, yep, <laughs> I would like to turn it on, and it works. Yeah, there's a little button you tap, and uh, pretty wild. I don't know. It it feels good. It definitely made Vision Pro better. Thing like, is still when, a little heavy. When we were in, when you guys were in my house, like when you started walking around, I had the urge to like move stuff out of your way. <laughs> no, like that's so, how convincing a, it was such a respectful king well he's trying um, to like he just walked into the bathroom and he didn't open the door so like i feel like i gotta open the door for you at least yeah i also i want to talk about this i'm surprised you didn't call me about call me out about this tweet oh i, I didn't said, see that tweet yeah i, I guess you turned notifications much. off yeah what have you been what have you been up I to i get all notifications but i don't open them okay 
Fair. I said, I think Apple Vision Pro on the airplane is the killer use case right now. Okay. And I really, yeah, I, feel I that. think it is. Um, I wore it every flight to and from home when I went this weekend, and it's kind of incredible, um, especially if like, you have somebody sitting next to you that you don't want to really interact with, which is like most of the time, I, I think. It, I have like one little hair that's just mm-hmm. like, why is it like, why? Maybe it's just expressing itself. You know what? Yeah, you you, you do your thing, King. You do what you want. <laughs> yeah, it's a free country. Uh, yeah, Vision Pro on airplane is legit great. I'm assuming you watched stuff. I did. I watched The Truth versus Alex Jones. Bro, let's go. Okay, I will it was say. So good. <laughs> I thought. I so I am of the belief that Alex Jones is a national treasure. I he's was. A, of he's that a belief. terrible human. Like. He's bad. Yeah. Uh, there are certain things. Here's the thing about Alex Jones. Half of the stuff he says is absolutely true and should be heard. But he says it amongst the other 50%, which is just garbage. And so, like, because 50% of what he says is so ridiculous and not true, you can't take anything that he says seriously. He, like, buries himself. He's a shit human for the most part. But the amount of entertainment that man has given me over the years puts him in the national treasure category. So and I I thought this 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 documentary, it's on HBO, right, Max? Yeah. I thought it was going to be like I was so pumped about this cuz the trailer came out when you and I and Andrew were in person in mm-hmm. in New York. And I was pumped. I was like, "Oh my god, they're going to make a mockery of him." They're going to show how ridiculous he is. It's going to be a fun watch. Yeah. Wasn't dead. No, it was not a fun watch. Kind of <laughs> It was a serious. It, it changed my perspective on him. It worked. Because um, it, it really showed painful. me that. Yeah, I, I used to be like, oh, he's so funny. Aha. Uh-huh. And then I was like, oh, he does actual harm. And like he doesn't care about anyone but himself. And he's willing to do or say anything just to make money. Mm-hmm. And... Yeah, it was a, it was a good documentary. If you guys know anything about like, I think people, the man, a lot of people in the public eye are like that. Theorists. Yeah, he's just more openly about that, and it's exposed more. But it's like you got to have a certain level of that to even be in the public eye, and he yeah. is a ridiculous example of that. What a what a guy! Just a ridiculous human, and yeah, that was yeah, a tough watch. Wrong. Very painful. Like it was great. It was a great. It, it was it, really I mean, good. Yeah, it wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting more goofy, fun Alex Jones material, but <laughs> was not that. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it is HBO Max. It's not Comedy Central. <laughs> and you saw it. Uh, HBO. So HBO has. Sorry, an Max. Just Max. Yeah, Max has an environment. Mm-hmm. It's the Game of Thrones thro- throne room, and it is. Yeah. It is. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised with how they absolutely ruined the last season of Game of Thrones. The throne room in there, absolutely half-assed, terrible resolution. What? It looks awful. It looks like looks okay. it looks like from the PS1. I don't think it looks that bad. I mean, I, I think oh, it looks God. slightly under Disney's resolutions of their environment. So bad. Like, don't even don't don't insult me. It was. I went in there for a little bit on the plane. It was fun. Did you watch Alex Jones in the throne room? For a little bit, yeah, it felt very, very meta. <laughs> um, so I how is that. It on the airplane now? Because when I when I used it, it was kind of like it struggled it's with tracking. No, th- it's really good. I mean, if you cover up the bottom cameras, it does freak out and have like a little panic attack, which mm-hmm. you know, relatable. That's what happens but if you cover. I think if you covered my, my I think if you covered my cameras too. I would yeah, if you covered my cameras. But yeah, it was. Uh, I mean, it was great. I watched movies. My head definitely started to hurt after a while, and it made me say, "Heaviest thing you Apple, put on your face." Yeah, and and Apple, y'all y'all dumb for making it this premium. They they're they're are they? You can make it look cool. You shouldn't have used as much glass, and you shouldn't have used as much aluminum. And I know what you were trying to do, but I think ultimately you're going to do more harm to the product for the people that are the diehards that want to buy it because it's uncomfortable than if you just made it lighter. And there are clear trade offs that Apple made to intentionally not make it lighter using the materials that they did. I want to talk about something interesting. Okay. Speaking of Vision Pro. Yeah. Did you see the story that came across the desks in the last couple weeks 
that Apple moved Vision Pro engineers to the foldable iPhone project? Yeah, we talked about this a week or two ago. Oh, we already used this, huh? Yeah. Oh, were you reaching for a... <laughs> I thought I... Dude, I was like, oh my God. I'm so clever for this. I'm going to save us and give us so many minutes of content. We talked about it, huh? Yeah, yeah. You remember what you said? Mm, that's a shame. No, I don't remember what I said. <laughs> what did I say? You guys let us know in the comments down below. Are you, you... Did you hit 30 and just forget? I'm telling you, if you can avoid it, don't turn 30. Okay. <laughs> Stay 29 well, when you get there. Don't just okay. resist. I, oh, I did not know I talked about that. That is a shame. I also, I watched Avatar 2. I should have really led with that. Why are we getting into politics? Yeah. Okay. Visually stunning. I will say the 3D again Incredible for me Incredible 3D experience, yeah. Take it or leave it, though. I mean, it's okay. Take it I, or leave what? The 3D. Oh, okay. On Vision Pro. Would you, I, so your experience would be equally as enjoyable if you just watched it regular? I think so. I mean, it's all right. It's it's the best 3D I've seen on Vision Pro, but I, I still, I don't know. It's, it's just not, I, I've never been blown away by 3D, and I don't I don't really think 3D has a, a huge... I mean, I haven't really been blown away by 3D until I used Vision Pro. When it's being mm. rendered in actual 3D for you, mwah, Yeah, so good. So you prefer content in 3D on Vision Pro? Um it's interesting. Like if, it's like if if the if the experience is good, like uh Way of Water in 3D is a good experience, but not all 3D movies by default are just better watched in 3D. Most of the time, like if it's live action, True. I'm just I'm not going to watch it in 3D. There's no way. Yeah. Animated stuff or like high CGI stuff does seem to be good. Yeah. Um yeah, I noticed some of the the window, you know, the little glare in the lenses, which I'm like, that's ah, a little annoying. But I, honestly, that's okay. Like, I've moved on to like just accept that. Yeah, it's whatever. It that's like a first gen yeah. thing. But yeah, I uh, I notice I don't use it once I get home. Once I'm mm. off of a trip, it's not touched. Really? Ever? Yeah. Interesting. So I I I am getting closer to making a video on it. I think. Okay. And. I mean, at this point, you could just call it the last Vision Pro review because I'm pretty sure you're the only one left. It's not going to be a review. I don't. I don't do reviews anymore. I've I've hung up the towel. Okay. Uh, wait. Officially announced on Genius Bar. Yeah. Okay. But you just tired. You, it's it's boring. So I'm. I don't know. I kind of have a different angle that I want to take with it, more creative. And I don't know okay. if it's going to come out anytime soon because it'll. I don't know. I just. I'm trying to keep views up for sponsors. You know the vibes. Okay, it's, it's, it's a tough balance. Thank you, Queen. No, we're just kings together. <laughs> okay, we're just dual kings. <laughs> yeah. What, two kings um, can't be together? What's the problem with that? No, no, I was, you know, you're right. I was playing into traditional gender norms. I, I want to be a king too. Okay, we're both kings. Congra God. King Prosser, everybody. Give it up. Thank you. Thank you very much. You've earned it, bro. Thank you. You told me your life story when we were in New York, and I still think about it, like, daily. I... But I'm pretty sure you, I thought you knew a long time ago. You should tell, like, we should do a life story episode on James And it's Bond. this episode, everyone, we have <laughs> material. <laughs> Sam, start with your life story. Go ahead. We got, we're going to fill so many hours with this. You go first. Um, Tim Cook, mm -hmm. my father. I remember hearing this, yes. Yeah. Abandoned he, um, you at a fire station. Yes. Then became the world's richest, best CEO. Well, I guess not and then the richest. Blacklisted but. me. Man, that would be a great that'd be a great film. No, it wouldn't. That'd be a pretty that's a pretty bad storyline <gasps> of just like son loses his father and that, that, that's been done before. Yeah. But not that son. Not True. Tim Cook's son and that father. I think I could vaguely pass for Tim Cook's child. Um Yeah. You could vaguely. Yeah. If I didn't know you ahead of time, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It could be fun. Um, what's your life story? Yeah, I was born from Tim Cook. Uh, I I was born. Um, uh, I don't know. My dad, you might have heard of him. Uh, Barack Obama. Obama. Oba <laughs> Obama. Have you heard of him? Dude, My full name is Jonathan Obama. We got to get back to the news. This is this My full name is anywhere. Jonathan Obama, and then he changed his name to Obama to, like, separate himself from me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
I really, it hurts to talk about. And if I'd rather we just talked about Apple News, so I don't have to relive it. You know. Yeah. Let's keep moving on. Because spatial, on me. spatial personas was cool, but that wasn't even I would say the biggest news of this week. It wasn't. No, I actually think that this is bigger news. Apple oh, just yeah, randomly yeah, 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 yeah. announced game emulators, which have been banned on the iPhone since 2007, officially. You can yeah. just submit apps to the App Store that are game emulators. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> yeah, kind of just huge. Kind of like, huge. Like, they if, just announced those, it on Friday. If you know, you know, like, for the people that care about this, this is a great day to be you. It's kind of like side-loading in the... It's kind of like they're starting yeah. to allow side-loading. Side that may adjacent. or may not be the hook of my next TikTok that I'm going to make later today. Who could say? The point being, I think that this new App Store change is actually good, and I'm What's glad that the with you? Apple government, the U.S. government forced them. What's wrong with you? Like, who do you think that you are? Samothy Cole. <laughs> yeah, but who who is that man? Is he a traitor? Yeah. Is he a fucking traitor? Because yeah, that's I've what I see son. him as. Because today, I was scrolling through TikTok because we were supposed to record Genius oh, Bar at 2 p.m. No, Sam is no, like, no. actually, just kidding. I have to set up my whole, like, I don't know why you have to set up Genius Bar every week. So it took you a half hour to, like, plug stuff in. I don't know. Yeah. So in that time, I'm browsing TikTok. Mm -hmm. I thought I had blocked this man from my TikTok at this stage, but nope, he came back. You and everybody else. And you know what it was for? What? What is it this week that you're angry about? AI voice cloning. Oh, yeah. Th the thing that is going to kill us, the thing that is going to take over the world, you're this is promoting cool. them. This is This sick. is like, to me, you might as well have done an ad for Alex Jones, for Infowars.com. <laughs> That's no, what this feels no, no. like. I don't know why cool. you think. No, no. Everything you're about to say doesn't count because you were it's paid kind to of say impressive. it. Look, is it though, or is it a crime? I mean, they paid me to say this, but also I do think it's kind of cool. Like, if 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 Harvey Dent paid you to promote crime, would you do it? Yeah, crime's fun as hell. <laughs> okay, okay, listen to this, guys. Get ready to be mind blown. They said it sounds a little too good because this isn't me talking anymore. Everything you're seeing and hearing right now was entirely generated by NVIDIA AI. And doing this is actually really- It sounds yeah. just like you if you were sad. <laughs> it just took the fun out I of you, that's sad. all. I am sad. It's perfect. It yeah, sounds was, literally just like fun. you, but not. Yeah. You're I in think your it sad was, boy uh, era. I mean, that's what AI is. It takes all the, the humanity out of it, and it makes me sound kind of like I'm talking like this. But it's kind of impressive. And for $25, you, you can do that. Um, Yeah, I think that's what the monthly plan starts at, yeah. Why are you promoting? Did they pay you to bring it up on the show no, or just, something? No, I'm disappointed. Because that's not enough money to, to just do that. Like, <laughs> if you're going to commit a crime, they should at least make it hard for you to be a criminal. <laughs> It's like, yeah, $25 for entry into this bank. Take however much you want after that. That's pretty cool. Keep them coming back. I don't I like, like it. I don't I thought you I thought you would stand on business. I thought you had principles and integrity. I I have some of I do. You're like hey, a cashier promoting self-checkout. Like I don't know who the hell you think you are, but <laughs> somewhere in between the time when we started Genius Bar and right now, you're not the guy I thought you were. I don't even know who you are anymore. I do think it's gonna be tough soon. This to is like finding out, out Walter White is Heisenberg. Yeah. I'm sure that was a big shock. Did you just spoil the entire well actually no, that wasn't a spoiler. No, but for Hank, that it, is yeah, that's was, horrifying. Was. Hank finds um, out. You've had so many years to watch it. Like, if you haven't watched the best show ever made, sure, that's on you. Sure. It's not on me. It's on you. I mean, it makes me excited for what we're hearing is coming in iOS 18 because apparently AI, 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 AI. Yeah. Fake screenshot of iOS 18. Heard. AI, AI, AI. Oh, you say fake screenshot because I saw a news article on Mac Rumors that said this iOS 18. All right, this was pretty bad. Uh, let me pull this up because... Mac rumors and their impeccable vetting. Yeah, this was pretty bad. Posted uh, this. I shared this because this was interesting um, and mostly because I want this to be true, but mainly because I thought it was interesting. Um, yeah, we got 
a, a screenshot. MacRumors said but leaked potential iOS 18 screenshot from like the design elements kit, and it shows Vision OS on the iPhone. Um, it's fake. It's so very like guys. That's how you know that we that we're out of news. Mac rumors probably even knew this was fake, and they fucking posted it anyway. Like how did like who did this? This Partly, was weird. No, <laughs> that is our boy. Partly, I I I call you out. I hereby call you out, and I expect a prompt response in the next twenty four hours on the Mac rumors podcast, or else, or else. <laughs> That's funny. Update eleven thirty five a.m. at the very bottom. We've received information from several sources indicating that the image Delete is fake. Delete <laughs> it. Take it down. Why is that it? That is. I mean, yeah. It it doesn't. Uh, Holy shit. I mean, they did okay in the mock up. It looks a little low res and bad, but I kind of like. I kind of like. It the looks glassiness. like that throne room and and the Max app. Terrible. Yeah, bad. it does. <laughs> it is a good equivalent from Vision Pro. I mean. It's not real, but it, it's interesting because what if iPhone looked like that? Yeah, what if? But it doesn't. So, and if we keep you, talking about it, we're just as bad as them. What do you think that I, because we know it's going to be a a major change this year. I mean, what what is your dream look for iPhone? What do you want to see? Because I, I think I would like more glassy elements, more physical, like make it feel kind of like a mix between iOS 6 and 7 together. Like more depth, more shadows, but also still kind of flat in some areas. I, I want. I would. Depth. I want Vision OS. Maybe without all the. Maybe without the roundness. Yeah, I like the round icons, and I told everybody on TikTok that the round icons. Yeah, were happening. I, see, I like the round icons too, but I just don't know. Like looking at my iPhone right now, I don't know if round icons does it for me. And a it rectangle. Is kind of- well, here's what I, it's interesting you bring that up because I just realized like Apple Watch icons are circle oh, and the yeah. Apple Watch is not circle. Do you think, by the way, that the Apple Watch X is going to be circle? No. Nah. Yeah, there's no way. This is, this is the, they, the form factor they had right all along. Yeah. Unlike On Apple first Asia, attempt. <laughs> For, uh, you don't, you hush. So yeah, what you're looking at now, uh, youtube.com slash genius bar. If you're listening to audio and you want to see the video, if you didn't know, could you imagine not knowing that we had, we do a video version of this every week? I mean, I feel like we bring it up enough that. And audio listeners, I'm not going to say that the video listeners get an entirely different show. So it's like, you it's a can, bit different. If, you, if you listen to the show, you get special stuff in the video. I'm not going to say that. Mm. But worth worth watching the show twice. Yeah, just saying. I would say so. Uh, basically, it's just an image of imagine a Vision OS looking camera app for the iPhone. It just kind of looks like that. So a poorly, I, th- ba- a poorly Photoshop. This yeah, just leads me to say, John, I want to know what it looks like because remember when iOS seven? Actually, I want to bring this article up because this is like a core memory of mine. Nine to five Mac, iOS seven leak flat icons i don't know if it's gonna come up yeah oh yeah baby look at this this. do you remember this leak Uh, this is a core memory of mine okay hold on is anybody else's nine to five mac all screwed up lately it just seems like their old images aren't indexing yeah, the, none of their old images load. Anytime I'm trying to grab images for TikToks, nothing Dude, comes up. Dude, you clicking on that page, they probably had to, a little man probably had to go turn on a <laughs> server and like find this for you. There's nothing that, okay, so let's just read from the other sources. Dude, this is a core memory of mine when these Those icons were kind, leaked. That's kind of right, right? Was the app yeah, I mean, they were like cl- that? Yeah, that was how it looked in all oh, of okay. Yeah, these are all spot on for the general look of what they had. Um, it's just remember how thin thing. the font was for that yeah. era too. Jesus. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, this dude. This screenshot, dude. The amount of hours as a child that I just spent staring at this, which shows the leaked icons for Iowa. So basically, it kind of looks like ass looking back. Well, here's the thing. They they mocked up this mm. like they basically saw the icon that looks like if you bought like a uh like a phone eye in china dude and that's what was on it i mean just seeing this i want 
seeing that screenshot of what was not iOS 18, but could have been iOS 18, it made me want to see, I just want new icons so bad. I'm so tired. I, I want to be able yeah. to change the icons. These are just things that I think would make the iPhone so much stronger for people that love it. And I'm going to bring up this idea. I've said it before, but I will say it again, Apple. I've had this idea patented in my mind since 2013, over a decade. Apple likes money, right? <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. I've heard that. What does Apple make money from on the App Store right now? Two like, things. Uh, apps and in-app purchases. I was going to say, they make money from the apps in the App Store. Exactly. John, what does Apple like again? Money. What if Apple launched a division of the App Store mm -hmm. that would be for theming your phone. Ah. So as a designer, instead of submitting an app, you could submit an icon pack. Okay. And the only way to get them would be on the Apple theme store or whatever. Mm -hmm. And Apple would now make 15 to 30% of all this extra money. I think it could significantly increase revenue from the app store and, and help Apple's bottom line. I say this is an Apple investor. I also just say this is somebody who's had this idea for a theme store forever. You don't have to change the icons if you don't want. Let Apple's be the default. But if you do, you can mm -hmm. pay $9.99 for an icon pack. And it's not like the current icon packs you buy where you have to go on somebody's random website. Like, Apple... And then, like, tie that to a series shortcut. Yes. I guess my only argument in response to that would be... What's more important to them? Making money off of themes in a theme store, theme packs, or keeping everything recognizable? Well, again, I think that would be the default. Because I would argue yeah. that you're right in keeping everything recognizable. So, I mean, just kind of like a, what's a good power feature that's kind of hidden unless you know where it's at? I'm trying to think of a good example. Um, I mean, you could, you could kind of argue uh, control center toggles. There's a bunch that you can add if you want to, but default, yeah, but they look there's the none same. extra. Yeah. All right. I, I just bite. think it would. I, I, okay, thank you. I got you. That was, I, I had more examples cooking up. Did They weren't ready yet, but the timer was about to go yeah. off. Okay. I think this would be brilliant. I, this has not been a rumor, but I will continue to say it until it happens because it just, we are, again, we are late stage into the iPhone. I think it's time to give people more customization. And I also think it would help people stay away from Android. Like Apple yeah, wants that we too. Got, I we think got, you, everyone got to do their part to keep people away from Android. Yeah, like, we all have to do our part. Yeah. Um, so I would love to see that. And I, I hope at minimum, if we can't change icons, we do get like, I mean, everybody keeps saying most significant iPhone update ever. That's crazy considering that iOS 7 was a thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And people more seem excited. More significant than the first iOS? That's crazy. Yeah, that was that wasn't even called iOS. <laughs> I have a question for you that only you can answer. Oh no. What are the robots? Because I see those in our notes, and I have heard nothing about robots. And what? I'm worried now. The Apple's I feel making worried. a robot? Apple's making robots. I robot. I'm sorry, what? Sam, I'm going to scare you. Oh, no. It's not Halloween, but I got some spooks. Okay. How do you feel about these words? Honest reaction. Identity theft. <gasps> Horrific. Am I right? Have you been harassed? Maybe even scammed? Annoyed by spam or robocalls? That's why Constantly. privacy matters, Sam. I feel like we all just go around the world willy-nilly. Yeah, sure. We know everyone and every platform has all of our personal information, and we just sit by and we let it happen. What if there was a way to take our identities back? Sam, I got the perfect solution for you today. Delete Me's back on the show. They're sponsoring the show today. Uh, Delete Me, welcome back to Genius Bar. Perfect platform. Listen, there's these little things, these little gremlins that Sam likes to call them. They're data brokers. Mm -hmm. Their whole existence, their whole identity is stealing yours, stealing your information. Mm. That's their whole job. And then they take all that information and they sell it to organizations that want that information. I'm not going to mention any names. You probably know who they are, but they buy that information from the data brokers. And instead of having to go to each of these separate platforms and say, hey, please get rid of, of my information. Please stop using it. Please delete it. 
Instead of doing all that, what if you could just go to the data brokers themselves, knock on the door and say, hey, everything you have on Sam Call, we want it out of here. Get rid of it. Delete it. That's why we have Delete Me. And that's exactly how it works, guys. Listen, you could wake up and you can just feel like, wow, I feel like I got a fresh start at the internet because they work continuously on your behalf to remove your information, especially as people like John and I that are, you know, maybe a little bit more public in our lives than that other people out here. We use this service to make sure that uh, we actually you know, aren't as public in the areas that the data brokers would like because that's the way that we roll around here, guys. Listen, Delete Me. Take control of your data and keep your private life private by signing up for Delete Me. Now at a special discount for Genius Bar listeners. Today, oh, no. get 20% off your Delete Me plan when you go to joindeletemecom slash Genius Bar and use promo code Genius Bar at checkout. The only way to get 20% off is to go to joindeletemecom slash Genius Bar and enter code Genius Bar at checkout. John, let me just spell it out for you because I know sometimes you need that. Yeah, That's I don't know how to J- spell it. O I N D E L E T E M E dot C O M slash G E I N U S B A R. Join deletemecom slash genius bar. Uh, the best part about this is 20% off to get 100% of your data back. Listen, I don't want to say that they're, that they're the best, but Sam and I are the most famous people that host the world's most famous Apple podcast. And if we choose them, you should choose them too. There's no podcast bigger than ours. In fact, I would go a step further. Not just Apple Podcasts, most famous podcast in the world. Yeah, and they'll help you get rid of your data. So thank you. That's cool. Thanks. Nobody actually cares about it because it's so early, but I am very, very, very intrigued by this. And this is another one of these things that I personally, I think my dad is the one who gave me this idea. So shout out to Dad Cole. Um, Love Dad Cole. He's the best. I. Let me just tell you how I think Apple Apple does this and how they pitch it. Tell us, King. Do you ever do dishes? Do you ever fold towels? Do you ever vacuum? Do you do chores around the house? Yes. I've been do known like to do a couple. That? Uh no, not even a little bit. Yeah, it kind of sucks, right? Yeah. I can't think of anything worse, honestly. This sounds like an ad read, which is really funny. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like <laughs> it's about not, to be an ad read. That's not that's- I would rather I would rather have to shelter in, in place with a tornado on the way than do mm-hmm. the dishes. Did you have to do that recently? No. Oh. It, where I live, there's like, anytime the seasons change, there's constant tornadoes around me, uh, yeah. but I don't take them seriously. When I first got here, I was real worried and I was I always hid. Uh, but where I live, it's like in a valley and the tornadoes kind of, like even if they're going towards me, they they don't dip down into that valley. They kind of just like go over us and die. So hmm. I'm basically invincible. Uh, so if you hear news reports that I died in a tornado and you're like, well, he said on Genius Bar he doesn't take shelter. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> my demise has been greatly exaggerated. I'm yeah, still around. You're, you're out there. You went to South America. Know that I just faked my death is all. Okay. So what if there was a little guy Mm-hmm. In your house. I can see him in my brain. Yep, I see a little guy. He kind of looks like you. He's mm-hmm. probably about five seven, five eight. Okay, that's um, not a that's not a that's not a little guy. That's a regular, normal sized guy. Right, he there. can talk that's normal well, height. Pretty tiny, pretty tiny compared to me. I'd say uh, uh, mm, very small. Mm, On the lower normal, end of the scale, for norm, sure. You're the abnormal one, though. Is the problem infinitesimal compared to my reality? But the point I'm trying to make: you is look that, like you almost got sucked into a black hole, and then the black hole changes mine. <laughs> it started to stretch your body out. He's like, ah, now we don't want him. And then that's what's left. <laughs> I, was just, I was too tall. I wouldn't fit. Yeah. What if this this guy could talk to you? you what know, if you have could? a conversation? Uh, and maybe most importantly, what if this little guy mm-hmm. kind of looked like you and did stuff that you would do? Like it could cook for you or. Clean the dishes or fold towels or I do all those things poorly, though. Like, is it going to do as bad as me? No, I think it would do better because it'd be powered by artificial intelligence, which we all know is the future. Okay. So Apple- This is a thing that's actually- Is this like some crazy fever dream or are they actually doing this? No, are you joking that you didn't hear about this? No, I'm dead serious. I didn't hear a peep. Not a peep. What? You didn't see this article from Lord and Savior Dark Merman? Apple News. Oh, I'm sorry. Apple. Uh, Mark Gurman's talking about robots? 
I yeah. don't I don't listen to Mark Gurman reports until the iPads are out. That's the rule I've established for myself. What what do New you mean? New rule. If Mark Gurman says it, it's not real. <laughs> um I mean it's it's very real. Um I am mm. trying to just read this article, but of course it I'm It not is as real in. as iPads coming in May. Okay. April, well, I <laughs> March Basically, I'm trying to pull up this report, but I I will tell you this, that I have read the article and I remember it. Just tell us what what? you know. Yeah, we'll just leave it here. You're a professional. This is what we trust you for. Oh, here. Now it it decided to give us the article for some reason. Okay. Okay. So, Apple's looking for the next big thing, right? Cars ain't it. Cars are done. Robots are it, apparently. Which is still so sad. But robots are in. They're working on two things that Mark Gurman cites. One is a tabletop device. Now this one this one's dumb. I'm going to say it right now. It's a well, okay, it's not dumb, but the way it's described sounds the most gimmicky thing I've ever heard. Okay. Just let me get your reaction about this. Maybe we should start doing the show like this where I know all the news and then you just react to it. That could be kind of fun. I think that's how the news has been on the show for a while. Yeah. <laughs> me and you are on a FaceTime call. My okay. head Yes. Is on a large iPad size screen. Yes. Attached to a robotic arm and speaker that will follow you around the room. So if you turn, it'll follow you. Oh, and why would it when I nod my head, the screen will nod and mimic me. Nah. No. That's a real thing that Mark Gurman said Apple's developing. This reminds me of something. Is this a show on Nickelodeon or something? What? Where someone was on a stand, they had a TV on a stand, and they would wheel the stand everywhere. Talk, are you talking about Plankton's wife? <laughs> yeah, is that what this is? <laughs> is that that's what I'm hearing? <laughs> Bro, you know, yes, that dude. Is that what we're getting? Is Apple? Did Apple watch SpongeBob and go, "Oh shit, let's just do that"? <laughs> Bro, it's Karen. <laughs> oh my god, it's Karen. <laughs> oh, dude. Wow. Okay. I mean, honestly, that's kind of what they're There's making, the but it's thumbnail. not going to have wheels. That, that's that's <laughs> exactly what it is. Okay. So this is the first thing, which is a tabletop robotics device. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, the fact that it would move you around the room for a call is, or like follow you and basically turn around the room is cool. But uh, mm-hmm. the nodding its head to mimic, that don't, that seems useless like why is, wouldn't uh, we just be wearing vision pro and you can just be standing there with me there you go maybe apple's not as confident in their vision pro as you think mr prozzy prozzy mr posner uh i don't know if i want this at all like i it, not even a little bit does it sound appealing i am very excited for a kitchen screen home home pod yeah just give me that so it calm, sounds calm kind of down. like that. Settle down, boys. You're trying to do too much. Give us the screen on the iPad, or the, give us the iPad on a HomePod thing screen. Put it in the kitchen. Don't <laughs> give me a robot. I kind of want a little Roby. <laughs> a little Roby. I want a little Roby, man. I don't uh, know. So, so that's the first thing. You're not sold by that. Well, what if uh, I tell you about the next thing? Tell me, John. The next thing that Apple's developing is a household robot. It's a mobile bot that will actually physically move around your home similar to the Amazon Astro. And this thing will be able to take FaceTime calls and Apple has aspirations of it one day being able to help you with chores in your home. Okay, I'm down with that. Yeah. That'd be cool. Um, I doubt that we're, Apple's... We're would... going to be fucking useless in just a few years. Yeah. We already do nothing but sit around and scroll on TikTok. Yeah. Well, that's my one thing that I think will keep me in business. Because have you ever watched AI content? It's kind of terrible. Right now? A lot of it is. Although, in video AI, who sponsored that TikTok, they are great. And I love it. Right them. now, it's terrible. But look at where AI is now as opposed to just a year from uh, a year ago. Yeah. It's going to get scary. And it's going to get scary real fast like... That's Bro, I'm Apple looking Roby. older. What? I'm. Whoa. 
He's got no glasses on. I, I had just saw myself. I don't look like I used to. Oh no. Can we, we pull really... up can we pull up a younger me on a in a past version of Genius Bar? <laughs> are we are we doing this in this? Other moment? than the other we, than the fatness. Okay. Guys, welcome I to also crisis. look like I also look like a 30-year-old now. I don't know what happened in this past year or what kind of stress you put me under. I need no no no, I need me in Genius Bar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go to our first ever video episode, which is Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I also look. Well, okay. you just look. Hold on. Whoa. First of all, my eyebrows are gone. You also have makeup on there. Do I? That's why you look younger, I think, yeah. Was this my makeup era? It was your makeup. Why era. was I? I don't think I'd be wearing makeup on Genius Bar. No, you specifically would do it before the show a lot. You mentioned it before Genius Bar. I thought I yes. just. I, I know that I did that before Front Page Tech, but yeah. Oh, I mean, goodness. do do I look? Let me let me look. Do a side by side of me as well. Yep. Hang on. Let me get okay. you. Boop. Oh um, shit. Wait, do you Hey, look don't you say it. Do you look older in the past version? Do I? Am I aging in reverse? No, What's... I think no, you do look older. Yeah. I, I don't know why, but it. out of everything, Genius Bar is like I'll do the same face. Humans documenting their life like this every week for okay. 3 years straight is a mistake. Hot take, I think the glasses make me look younger when they're clear. Yeah, bring them back. Audience, you vote right now. Do we bring the clear glasses back for Sam Cole or... I I did some beta testing when I was home. I wore them out for a day. Okay, and were you treated and I'm going out. I'm public? going out tonight. Okay, here, you you have to tell me right now. I'm going out on the town tonight with yes. Luke. Do okay. I wear the clear glasses? Yeah. Over these. I mean, I vote for the clear glasses right now. You know what? I, I actually want to ask you this because I struggle... I, I need some new glasses, I think. And I actually want to I want to lose my glasses this year, but I've never had contacts and I know it's gonna be a thing. Do you do you think and I want you to answer honestly as my friend? Mm -hmm. I got you. Do you think that these glasses look good on me? I do. I think okay. the problem is you look like a character. Mm. Like this version of you is so well established that I think I'm just conditioned to like that. Like this looks iconic. This is you. <laughs> Your cast me off way too hard. I mean, I for real though. It'd be like imagine if I shaved my face, dude. This is crazy. That's three years ago. I'm trying to think what was the headspace. It would be funny. So April twenty second, twenty twenty one. Whoa, that's almost exactly what three the years fuck? ago. Whoa, Whoops. that's crazy. We've been doing this almost every week for three years. I don't feel like I've known you that long though. Oh, we've known each other longer than that. But I don't feel like, like when I think of three years, that's like, that's three quarters of a college experience. And I don't feel like I've been doing this that long with you. Mm -hmm. It kind of feels like we just started one week. Flash forward to when we're 10 years into this and then we're comparing it. Yeah. Someone needs to do like a time lapse of us aging on Genius Bar. Actually, okay. don't. Please, God, yeah, don't do that. I was just going to say, what, you, do you want to cry? I just, like, do you, I, I, <laughs> never mind. I changed my mind. That was a mistake to say. Things. Nobody do that. Listen to okay. me. Some of you just went, you know what? Now I'm definitely going to do it. Don't yeah. do it. Do not. I don't want to see it. If you love me, you won't do it. Here's a question. Do you, do you struggle with aging at all? I'm not going to lie. I think when I hit 26, there's a little bit of me that, I, I could just see some subtle changes and I life is shittier at 30. Like it, it immediately got shittier. Uh, but, uh, you want to talk about that? No, I think I'm just now, I think I'm, I think my problem is I'm just now seeing my age. Mm. I'm like, bro, why? Yeah, I use retinol every day. What is that? Instead of like, well, I know before on the show I wore I would wear makeup to smooth out my skin on camera, but now I use retinol. It's just a it's like a chemical that you put on your face that uh like especially if you start using it younger is good. Uh women women you women all five of you listening right now, you know. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what's up. <laughs> but really but really men, it's Chico for men if you get into it earlier, it'll help you 
it'll help not like it'll keep your face elastic and and supple it won't is so it, you won't you won't like get all wrinkly and gross is it safe is there any yeah side effects? it's very safe every day i use uh like vitamin is it vitamin c on my face retinol and then i just moisturize because when you use retinol you're very uh i mean this would be very bad for you you're very prone to sunburn it's basically like constantly rejuvenating the layers of your skin. So you always kind of have a new layer of skin on, so you got to protect that layer. So I always mm. I moisturize every day with with a moisturizer and SPF 30 every and that's just my skincare routine every day. And look well, at me. And look I look you. like shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, you look beautiful. I think you look great. You got your hair you got your hair cut recently? Yeah, I did. Did you have a good barber experience? Uh Pedro, my dude Pedro, love Pedro. He's a great guy. Nice. Oh yeah. Yep. Shout, Gave you a fresh cut. I like it. I um I got my hair cut recently too and she was great. Um, I think I need to get another good trim. lately too. Supple, luscious, more. Yeah, your hair has been looking great. No, I, I said yours. Oh, I thought you were I saying your. I think your hair does look great too. Thanks, I th- I, th- I think your hair is the comeback of the century. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> people, man. people were commenting on Genius Bar uh, and our in-person episode saying your hair looked great, and then really? it got me thinking. I was like, you know what? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. You hey, know? Django, I locked the door. You can't open it. Go away. Go play with your whatever. Is that your son? Yeah, my black son. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he is. It's a cat. It's a cat. It is a Let's cat, Let's just be yes. clear. <laughs> he is, yes. We didn't just do a child reveal live <laughs> yeah. on the show. <laughs> yeah. He's um, he's currently trying to open the door because, see how it's a handle? He knows how to get his paw up there go... And just open it up so it's locked. That's I have to lock my doors. Clickety clack, clickety clack. Are you an employee? No. You are now because I just hired you using LinkedIn Jobs, no! who sponsored this episode <laughs> of the Genius Bar. <laughs> we he love was LinkedIn unemployed. over here. I didn't know I was. I didn't know I got relegated to just being an employee now. Well, listen, I needed somebody to host the show, and I didn't right. know where to go. So I Fair turned enough. to LinkedIn, because here's what it is. LinkedIn isn't just another job board. They have a vast network of more than a billion professionals, like John Prosser, which makes it the best place to hire. It gives me access to professionals I can't find anywhere else, like John, like John Prosser. Prosser. And LinkedIn does all that while making the process an easy and intuitive. Unlike John Prosser, if I had to find him <laughs> myself, because he's a difficult person to work with before yeah, LinkedIn. the worst. Listen, guys, hiring is easy when you say when you have that many quality candidates. So easy, in fact, that 86% of small businesses like ours get a qualified candidate within 24 hours. Could you imagine if one day on Monday I had the idea to do a podcast and by Tuesday you had I already John had Prosser? the guy? Yeah, yeah, I found John Prosser. Crazy. It'd be incredible. There's so many platforms out there, right, that do a similar thing. But, like, why even consider them when you could just go to the source? LinkedIn has been doing this for so long. They're the most trusted name when it comes to this stuff, especially when it comes to finding jobs and hiring the right people. LinkedIn knows that small businesses are wearing so many hats and might not have the time to re- or resources to hire. They're constantly finding ways to make the process even easier. And they just launched a feature that helps you write job descriptions, making the process even easier easier and quicker that's why 2.5 million small businesses use linkedin for hiring and get this because you're watching genius bar you're listening to genius bar you can post your job for free at linkedin.com slash genius bar the name of this show that's linkedin.com slash genius bar to post your job for free of course terms and conditions do apply thanks guys thanks linkedin and we're back guys and we're back we definitely didn't. Could you imagine if we did this show live? Like, I don't think we've ever done a show that could have gone live. Well, There's we did something. literally do one a year ago in person in California, yeah. but who knows? Who knows what could happen with that? I think that uh, the robot would be cool. I am a little worried for Apple as a company because... I don't think this is, like... The ridiculous robot thing I don't think is going to ship. I think they're just doing their due diligence. I guess the question then, and we sort of talked about this on a previous episode, is then what's coming next? I mean, more obviously more visions, uh, more Best iPhones. case scenario, that thing that does my dishes. I vote for that. Yeah, that would be great. It's just that obviously that will be probably five plus years away. Do you think I could train Django to do it? I mean, if he can use his paws to open up the door, what is his excuse? 
That's true. Why don't we put our pets to work? That's we what I'm saying. We give them housing. We give them food. We give them love. And I recently learned, and this is disturbing. Okay. I recently learned that cats age weird. Like, they age, like, in their first year, like, 15 years. What? And then it's, like, 24, 30. Like, in their first year, they age, like, 15. And then the, their set, when they're two years old, they're, like, 20-something. This, this little fucker is, like, three years old, which makes him, like, 30. He's, he's as old as I am. Yeah, you guys are the same age. I used to look at him like this little cute child that just wa- roams around my house. But it's the equivalent of having a grown man in here that doesn't pay any rent. He doesn't feed himself. Like, he doesn't do anything but look cute. Yeah. And I don't think that's fair. You should I don't tell come him. on this show and just sit here. I you have to You should go work. get him. You should go get him right now and tell him. And bring him on the show and put him on trial. Okay. The trial of Django Prosser. Hang on. Keep keep us entertained. Okay. This has been a long time coming. Now, if we go to talk about the topic of cats, I'm not the biggest cat person. I think as a species, they're, you could call it mid compared to all dogs. Yeah, His cat in particular is pretty cute. I will say I've met Django. He's a very friendly lad. I've met a couple other cats in my life that are, you know, maybe six out of ten. Explain yourself. He's upset. <laughs> Explain yourself. <laughs> he is really cute. What do you have on his collar? A bow tie. He's Why? a gentleman. <laughs> Look at him. Look at his bow tie. I mean, you can't see it past his folds, but yeah. Just think, you're just throwing around a 30-year-old man right now. Yeah, I just picked him up. He has no control. <laughs> also, That's cats amazing. are just like bones inside of a sock. Like, his yeah. his fur and his skin is just like so floppy and... Anyway, I don't, I don't like it. That's they're, the they're that's the squatter in my house, everybody. Okay, everybody, give it up for Django. Is that your first time on the show? I don't hey, know. Maybe. I know he's broken in before. He has, um, but I don't know if he's actually been on the show. So welcome, Django. Um, let's let's talk about some other stuff we have on the works. <laughs> iPads. Okay. Still nothing. Literally, are nothing. they ever? They- are they ever coming? They were spotted in a regulatory database, though, so we got some movement on the field. Okay, we've got we've got a triple double or whatever they call it. What? We've got a triple double movement. What are you talking about? Is that a phrase in any sport? Yeah, it is actually a mess. Well, but I don't know what it is. What is a triple double? I've always oh, wondered. Cheeseburger this. triple double. The achievement of a double digit total. Oh, okay. That that is actually really impressive. Sounds Triple like ba- no ball. <laughs> That's pretty good. It is. Um, so yeah, new iPads. Let's just see what happens if you Google that. Okay, yeah. Look, the article came up. It's spotted in India database. And in India's BIS, Momos. which stands for the Big Indian System. Look at this. Look at this. Does, what does BIS stand for? I I don't know. This fucking guy is trying to leave now. Look oh, at him. the bureau, the bureau of India. Look. Bro, you wanted in here for an hour and now you're trying to leave. He's trying to escape. <laughs> it's the Bureau of Indian I have no control over standards. my life. The who? The Bureau of Indian <laughs> Systems. <laughs> okay. Standards, sorry. I thought it was Big Indian <laughs> System. I mean, same thing. Bureau, Big, they're all trying to take Look at out. him! Dude! How does he know how to do that? I don't know. <laughs> he shouldn't, though. What have you been feeding this cat, man? I don't know. Alpha brain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just keeps drawing. Look at him. Is that what he does the entire podcast? Yes. <laughs> Actually, yes. I think it's just easier for him to open from the other side because he has to push it. With From here, he has to pull down and pull it towards him. What Wait, a little why gremlin, dude. Wait, why don't you just leave the door open? Why can't he just roam? I guess he could. Yeah, I guess yeah, he I mean, could. Yeah, what's... Th- it's not like... This it just is a doesn't feel video. professional. Not that this is professional. I mean, <laughs> yeah, we... Not- uh, hang on. You know what? Let me just change our... Yeah, thank our you. Thing. <laughs> Where's the idiot bar? There we go. 
There we go. All right. People are yeah. asking for Idiot Bar to be its own show. Honestly, I had this idea recently where I was like, what if we just didn't talk about Apple at all? Like it forever. was like our non-Apple show. Oh, yeah, I'm down with that. But it's like a post show, and we make them pay for it. Yeah. Or just make it free. But I don't know. He's got to pay for his cat, guys. Yeah. How am I supposed uh, to protect myself from this behemoth over here? New iPads. I thought this little tidbit was interesting. Um, 9 to 5 Mac saw there's a new Apple Pencil. Did 9 to 5 Mac post that fake image of iOS 18? They did just to dismiss it. Oh, okay. But yeah, there's this new squeeze gesture for an Apple Pencil mm-hmm. in iOS 17.5 beta. I have a squeeze gesture, too. <laughs> What does yours do? <laughs> okay. The dishes. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Back to the show. Uh, it's kind of cool. It says that it can be used for quick interactions, such as adding shapes, signatures, stickers, or a text field. Um, so it sounds like that is kind of cool. Near the bottom, you'll be able to kind of squeeze in with your fingers. And in addition to, I guess, a double tap, you could. I just, I, if the new Apple Pencil doesn't have an eraser, I, I, I oh, will pop do. off. Like okay. if Apple doesn't put an eraser on the he back, will where pop I can just off. flip the pencil road. No, I'm saying I will pop off on them because I've for the first time had a tablet, the remarkable one that sponsored the thing. It's actually like a sick thing I use all the time. Anyway, they have a little you just flip the pencil around, you erase. And it's crazy how intuitive having the thing to fix your mistakes built into the thing you're writing with is. Just it's incredible. You're conditioned, do you know how erasers work? No, it's just a great design that mm. this end writes, this end does it. Instead of having to double tap or mm. do, or you know, or maybe implement something with your hand where you can wipe and erase. Like, there's got to be something better than the system that they have now. And I really just hope that we have an eraser because squeeze is cool. We you know it's better than squeeze. A built-in oh. eraser, huh? <laughs> Did you do you follow Apple News anymore? Like, what is your day to day? What do you do? Because you seem very disconnected. I'm in a bad way. <laughs> okay. I don't care even a little bit. Like going on Twitter and seeing people like dig really deep and like Vadim tweeted about like uh, from Max Tech tweeted about like the timeline for Apple Silicon this year. And, bro, I don't give a single shit. Like, I can't imagine doing that with my time. Like, trying to, like... Oh, I love Vadim, and I, people like him need to care because there's people that also care that need that, that look to people like him. But, like, I can't imagine spending my time trying to decipher a, a timeline for a thing that's not out yet and tweeting it with an eye emoji, like, oh, he's coming. Like, I. Dude, that's literally what you used to do. <sighs> I know. I <laughs> just can't do it. I don't know. That- is, it, is it the 30 thing? Like, am I just too old to, like. Oh, God, it's exhausting. Look at this. I hung out with Vadim. They came in. This is the entire Max Tech crew over here. Pop quiz! Um, Max and Vadim, and, and there's me Pop and Luke. Pop quiz! And- to the audience. Which one is Vadim? <laughs> I mean, I know. The guy all the way on the right. <laughs> he kind of looks like that's, a Vadim. That's Vadim. <laughs> um, yeah, the guy on the right, I don't know what his name. Dude, but... the guy on the right looking like he's going to take over the Kremlin. <laughs> <laughs> he's got great hair, though. And a great from the smile. left to the right, we have Ben, the editor for Max Tech. If you guys haven't met him, he's also great. And then Max, yeah, nice. and then Vadim, and then uh, Luke Miani's all the way on the right. And then there's some, I don't know, monster. Slenderman. There. Yeah, Slenderman. Just so. want to say I am the tallest, just so everybody knows. And you can yeah, see. Yeah, just in case you were wondering. Look at that. You got a full body pick. Look oh, at wow. that. Everyone's got legs. Um, It was really fun hanging out with them. Yeah, were you never... and Luke wearing the same pants? Um, Do you coordinate this? I mean, they're they're khakis. It's not like I I don't. Yes, we're wearing the same. But yes. Okay. What are you getting at? Uh, your cycles have synced, obviously, from being so close yeah, to our each other. Yeah, cycles. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was great to hang out with them. I didn't even talk about this trip, but it was really fun to 
to spend time with them. They were super nice. They actually drove up to LA. Like, uh, they took an Uber from San Diego to LA just uh, to see us. Wow. Which is wow. really nice. It's fun. It doesn't make any fucking before. sense. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Yeah, they met me at uh, CES. It doesn't make any sense that Apple would be working on stupid robots when they could just put the robot in a car and have the car drive itself. Have a yeah. car, robot drive car. Ta-da. I really wish that the car was still happening, but whatever. Maybe it'll get re- re-resurrected one day. No, they got repoed. I know. Did you see all the layoffs that happened too? Apple laid off like what, 800 people? 600, 700 people, yeah. Saw that. I did Finally. see that. Yeah. Mm. Uh, did you hear, oh speaking of, did you hear, um, let me think. It's been a while since I've seen it. Did you hear that they moved people from the Vision Pro project to... Uh, <laughs> I knew this was going to be a dumbass bit. <laughs> Let me continue with the other things I wanted to talk about. To the full life like project. That's what happened. They moved them from the Vision Pro. I'd like to wrap with this. Yeah, please get us out of here. Holy shit. Can we just have a moment of silence for Twitter? The only the, the, only the real ones knew this app, TweetBot. Oh, yes, dude. Oh, dude, yes. I saw this the other day, and I almost cried. On the iPhone 4. Because Just Twitter think. used to be a fun place. Well, Twitter used to be a more fun place. <laughs> okay. Before the evil man, mm-hmm. who I like his cars, mm-hmm. came in and did nasty bad things to Twitter. The nasty bad man. We can't, say anything, ex, we can't say anything or have a different platform. opinion about him because uh, then we're like uh, liberal shills or something. I don't know. if I, I don't know how that works. I, but, um, I yeah. am. I mean, shoot yourself, brother, but I yeah. wear that with a badge of honor. Mm-hmm. I am just sad. I, I, I thought back to a simpler time, and I just realized that developers are everything. Developers are the reason I started using Twitter mm-hmm. because I realized it was a better experience. Our children, if we ever have them one day, will not know the spoils of a third-party Twitter client, nor mm. will they know Apollo, which was once the greatest Reddit uh, client Apollo. that also got shut down. And it made me realize I think the internet is getting less fun. Is it and that or makes we me just jaded? No, the old internet's getting less fun. The new internet is TikTok, and it's really fun. I like that, too. But I miss the simpler times. Okay. I miss being able to hop on TweetBot, say something that three people saw, and I miss going over to my, my childhood bedroom mm-hmm. and making a video. I miss the days when this was my set, John. You remember? Oh, I remember. You- Decals no, not the, the icons. Not no. the icons. No, no, no. Basement. Uh, in between. <laughs> what? Right What's in between here. basement and icons. Oh, sorry, sorry. Before basement. Before basement. Before basement. Also, have you ever scrolled through your videos and you're like, what was I doing? Yeah, a lot. A lot. What was I doing? I look back to videos from two months ago and I ask that question. Oh, I remember where I filmed all of these. I filmed some of this B-roll in like a hotel in Chicago. I don't know. That was in my... Dude, that's so crazy. I filmed this in my ex's house in Chicago. Mm. That's so funny. Oh, uh, yeah. Michelle Obama, your ex. <laughs> Mother dude, of my it... dad. Wait, wife of my dad. Dude, yep. I don't know what's going on, but... I just, I miss the simpler times. I think the reason I've been struggling with YouTube, John, is because I just miss being able to get on camera. Why don't you just sort by oldest, my guy? You're really going to embarrass me in front of everybody watching? I just wonder why we're scrolling the whole way. Yeah, well, I thought maybe we could have some fun along the way. Mm, Okay, okay. Dude, this video, I'm just having, I'm just remembering this video because these are fun tidbits for YouTubers. What, what, hold on, what are these videos? How to install YouTube killing the chronological subfeed. Why would I have I made ever a video about that too? That 
What? I remember I put it out like within hours of us finding that out because I thought it was going to be the worst thing ever. And then it wasn't. It was um, fine. Oh, here, look. iOS 12 won't have a 3D redesign. We've been talking about this for that long. Mm -hmm. Wow. But I remember this video. I think this is a dedicated video. Yeah. an MKBHD shirt or what is that? Yeah, of course. You know the vibes. But look, dude, I made a dedicated video. I'm a five minute dedicated video. Do you know how much I got paid for this video? I think it was like 500 bucks. Oh, I was going to say 15, so that's pretty good. I think it was like 500 bucks, dude. Let's go to oldest now. That's how I much I do show a dedicated you. video for right now. This made me sad seeing this. I just used to put my phone in front of the camera, and I used to put my hand That's in all a little bit of text, and I would get 7,000 views. You should try it tomorrow. And I used to have fun. <laughs> no fun anymore. It used to be so great. And then I look back at FPT, and he oh, used to have oh fun God. too. Most of my old videos aren't even there anymore. He used to have fun. Oh, he was God. a spry young lad. Oh my goodness gracious. Amazon would... MP3s coming to iOS. Nexus 7 outsells out, out iPad this? in Japan. Oh my God. iDevices. What is... Just kill me. Can we leave? Is this really you? Before this continues? Goodness. This is awesome. Is it? Is it? But though? see, you didn't think about this. You had the same Twitter back then. What? Yeah. Uh, whoa. It's the same one. So somebody I've had, had John Prosser I've had in like Twitter 20? since. Wow. I signed up for Twitter. That Twitter account. Well, I was still in high school. It was either my junior or senior year, and we were on, we were on the bus going to a field trip somewhere. I don't know. But Brian convinced me to sign up for Twitter that day, and I did. Uh, and says same account since. It's like twelve or thirteen years old. Yeah, I remember I signed... Wait, I also have a memory of signing up at school. That's crazy. Really? Huh. Yeah, I was in Basically science class. Basically the same class. person. And then I also... I signed up... I, I remember making... I just need to get re-inspired, I think. I think I've been a little borked down by the machine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the and, machine be stomping on your balls. And I will say, this coming week... Because I, I haven't uploaded in a couple weeks. Everybody's probably going to quit. You got a spicy one coming. Audio by John Prosser. Oh, yeah, I helped with this video. Yeah, I helped a little bit. We'll talk about this next week. I, I think it'll be a pretty big one. Uh, yeah, you could say that. Just to give people a little teaser on the show, it, it will be a world-exclusive video premiere of an Apple product that no one has ever seen on video before. Ever. It may have been captured in photos before, but no one is, no one's ever seen what I'm about to show in the detail, in the condition that okay. I, I will be enough. showing it. Um, and there's even a little twist a little bit into the video, which is kind of fun. Um, and I, I've edited most of this, and I, it's really fun. It's a fun video because um, I got two camera angles going. And I, I will say, you know, you were talking a while ago, John. You were like, you just need to make stuff that you care about. Mm -hmm. And I will say that this video does feel better and more exciting than other stuff I've been making. See? The thing is... I still care about other stuff. I just think I don't, I'm burnt out of that care process. Less. Yeah. And I just think 11 years. It's not years challenging is... anymore. It's boring. If you can do it in your sleep, you can make the usual eye update Apple track video with your eyes closed. Yeah. And that's when it's no longer fun. So I'm very excited for this video. Um, me too. It's very cool. Uh, it's something I've been sitting on for months, and I, I appreciate the audio sounds amazing. I think I want you to start doing the audio for every video, just okay. you know, to really add to your workload because you don't. That's fine. Not like you do anything else. I well, I um, think you got a real taste for how seriously I take audio this time because you learned a lot of my uh, process that I never that, like. There's no reason for me to tell you. Yeah, it's details that I care really about cool. that no one will care or think about, but I have a sounds problem. Sounds awesome. Very excited. So, yeah, big video for me this week. Very um, excited to see it. I was hoping to drop it Monday, but I am waiting on the sponsor to approve it. Okay. Um, But, like, it will be ready to rock. 
then. And it, it's cool. It, it, it looks, it, I think it looks really pretty. Have you, I mean, it looks very similar to the last one that I sent you for reference, but mm. I just think the blur, Luke helped me film it. I think I'm just, I'm really excited for this one. It feels like it's going to matter. Yeah. I love to hear that. And I'm also starting to work on that next crazier idea that will actually, I'm working on acquiring the rest of the stuff for that. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. So that's going to be in a couple months down the road, but I'm, I'm working on this. We're start where you and I are working in the background on obtaining a thing so that I can do the big idea in September of this year. So those are, that's what I'm working on. What are you working on? What's your next video going to be? Uh, it's a, it's not a, an interesting one. It's a filler video. Don't watch what it. What is it? Uh, it's about like dub dub stuff. Oh, that'll get a lot of views. It's, it's like going out in place of a, another video we're working on. Um, I'm making a video called how the iPhone leaks. Or something similar to that. I don't know. I haven't decided a final title, but it's like mm. my official retirement from leaking. And oh. I'm gonna, it, I was actually inspired by the last genius bar to do it. Like really go in depth for, as someone that did it on how, it, how things like that actually happen behind the scenes. Hmm. Maybe I'll tell some stories from some of the biggest ones that I put out. I don't know. Uh, but it's, it's a video about like someone from the inside Hmm. Being like, all right, I'm done doing this now. Here's how it worked. It's a really good idea. Yeah, uh, but that's taking a little bit longer, so we're putting this one out in the meantime. Nice. I said, I said, don't watch it, but watch it anyway. Thanks. <laughs> Support your boy. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really excited for that. That sounds great. I can't wait. Do you have any big projects in the works for this year? You got some stuff. I have. Cooking. I have. I do have. I I have a couple really big ones cooking. Uh, I have one with you cooking. I have a couple with you cooking. I have a couple with me cooking. Wait, you and me? We just had a FaceTime call about this. Oh, I, I'm talking about just videos, not like... That's a video. Okay, kind you're of. right. Pop off. Uh, yeah, uh, working on two... There's one that is like unfathomably massive. Yeah, to I'd say similar level of massive to what I... To the yeah, big one that I am going to have. Stupid, but uh, the other one awesome. is a bit easier, but also is also is cool. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, just trying to figure out how to fill the gaps in between the all the all the big stuff. That's my current struggle, because mm. I got stuff that I know is gonna fucking be great. I trust myself with it, but it's the stuff in between. It's like how do you fill the gaps with stuff that matters while making the stuff that you actually think matters? Yeah, that you know matters. I don't know. Do you think other artists like struggle with that? Because I think about musicians job, yeah. and like, do you think musicians will just be the, like the labels like you got to put this out so they just come up with something and then everybody's like, why oh, did you drop an album like for that? For sure, and, or like the album's got eight songs but it needs nine. Yeah, and why? Why does? Why does it have to be like that? Why? Why can't we? How do we just make the stuff that we want? I've also I've got another idea. I'll tell you after the show that I'm 100 percent doing this year. Once okay. we get the thing, um, and I. It's pretty cool. It's an idea I've had for a while, but I'm excited to share it. Okay. Um, I love that for us. Yeah. I don't know. I just, I'm ex. I don't know. I. You want to hear something sick? I would love to hear something sick. I hope that TikTok gets banned so that I'm forced to be a better YouTuber. Just stop. Just pretend that it happened. Just pretend no. it's banned. Be a better YouTuber. Be a man. No. I won't. I'll be. I'll be who I want to no. be. <laughs> Dude, because the reach I hope it gets on banned TikTok. too, so I don't see any of your ads. No, nah, just kidding. I don't want it banned. TikTok is my fun little safe space. Yeah. It's a fun little environment that has nothing to do with work. When I can avoid Sam, it's so much fun. Do you actually have me blocked? No, I don't have you blocked. That would make. Do you me want me sad. to prove it? No, you don't have to prove it. I believe you. There's trust in this Let relationship. I've known you for you three quick. years. I hope I trust you. Let me unblock. Look, friends. Dude. Here's a TurboTax ad. Oh, let me get rid of the. Brightness. Just so people, friends, Sam, you're literally right there, because I because I have your phone. AirPods Lite could end up being the best value headphones on the market. Hey, I wouldn't be able them. to see that if it was blocked. True. True. 
You want to know something like hilarious? You want to know how much? You want to know how what? much John trusts me? He just sent me a video with every credit card number that he has. Every credit card, a full video front and back because we were trying to figure out what expense something was charged on. Yeah. And he just sent a full video of just I was him like, let's find around. out together. <laughs> I mean, what are you what what are you going to do? We I mean I know I'm, I'm just saying that's a lot of trust. I mean, I'm just saying that's We have like what do you mean? I could buy a house with one of those cards. <laughs> We both, is that, we both, we have a business together. We trust each other with friendship. We trust each other with life. We trust each other with, um, food. We trust each other with gifts. True. We trust each other, uh, with creative advice. So why not? Fair. If not like now, too. then when would you send a video of all your debit cards? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I guess I guess that's where we're at, guys. Sorry, kind of a kind of a different epi today, but listen, man. Fun. If nothing happens by next week, we are. I have given you every ounce of little tiny news stories that we can find that I that I've got in me. If there, are, if nothing happens by next week, I don't know, I don't know what to do. That's like asking me to get out of bed when I ha when there there's been a drought. There hasn't been water to drink in weeks. I'm tired, man. I just want to lay in bed and wither away. Yeah, and maybe Apple, the robots will take over. This is Apple. You have. Seven days. You got five days before we probably record the next one. You got five days to figure this shit out. Mark Gurman, you have five days to come up with something with a, with just that resembles the truth. <laughs> Anybody. You know what? Fuck Apple. Fark. Fark. Fuck. Fark. Fuck Gurman. <laughs> fark him. Anybody that has <laughs> that knows anything about Apple, now is your time to speak. You yeah. can single-handedly make a name for yourself and save Genius Bar. That no is pressure. true. That is true. If somebody was just like this date iPads, I know. Like, if you know something, Messiah? now is the time, brother or sister. Now is the time to use your voice. I'm gonna get into leaking. Message me. Message All Sam. Right, Don't joke. fucking talk to me. Message Sam. With whatever information you have. I was like, should I just completely make Apple just yeah, start leaking? I was like, it, it would be fun because you know what I said? I said I like the thing that makes me the most happy is like feeling like I'm showing something people that they've never seen. Yeah. I get I get the appeal now because it's fun and I want to get that. people excited. And... No, I can't. I mean, I don't know. I guess Apple's never going to talk to me anyway, so I should just like accept the fate. And for the rest just... of you, we will see you. We will hear you. Next week, uh, assuming that we haven't ended it all by then. We won't. I'll make sure that we've got some good work to do. John and I have to do a little meeting about our thing after this. And then I don't know why I'm just telling you about our day. I'm going to let you guys go. This has just kind of been like a face. Imagine you're just on a little FaceTime with we'll John see and I. You That's kind we'll of see what you guys next week. How about that? Uh, okay. Well, we have to do the song. Okay. We'll do the song. The but yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for bearing with us. We, we went for a good hour. Okay. Hour like and a half almost. Yeah. Okay. With ads. That. With ads. Thank you guys for supporting our Good sponsors of the show. You guys are the best. Genius Bar forever. Genius Bar forever. <laughs>